Hey guys, Pen1979 here. Just gonna do a quick video demonstrating why I don't like the Nespresso Virtual Line. So, all right, right here we have eight ounces of water. So, which most Nespresso coffee will do eight ounces. So that's eight ounces flat of water right there. So you guys can see. So now let's pour it in my cup, which is 350 milliliters of water. So let's pour it in there. All right, so now let's memorize where this is. And by memorize, I mean I am gonna put a, a little sticker right there to measure where this thing is. That's gonna be perfect. All right, guys, so now with the magic of editing, let's just snap my finger and start my coffee. All right, guys, so I am gonna do a Stormio, which is 200 milliliter of coffee or 7.7 .7 fluid ounces so close enough to eight ounces uh this is going to be like eight mil eight milliliters which is really not a not much difference so let me put it in the machine right there brand new nespresso click let's close that up and let's start my coffee shall we We are already at the 8 ounces mark, but that's not liquid. And we are done so let me zoom in for you guys click all right so for the actual coffee itself we are close to the amount of uh, liquid that we had for the eight fluid ounces that we started with for 200 and something 37 milliliters uh, translate translated uh, about so uh, I wanted to do eight ounces flush as a point of reference so now you can see the liquid is settling a little. It's going back up. So it is close to that 230 uh, milliliters of liquid. But look at the foam. So if you have a smaller container than this, this is 350 milliliters. So, uh, and I'm putting 230 uh, milliliters of liquid. So not even half, guys. So yeah, that is why I do not like the Nespresso Virtual so uh, guys this is just annoying because you have to take all of that foam and it's not crema guys if you think this is crema this is not crema crema is thick crema is not light and fluffy like this is this is air that's being introduced as the coffee is brewing so this is just foam so that's a marketing gimmick so and I got caught in it because I bought it and that's just a marketing gimmick. So uh, if you want an actual coffee that is gonna be less than this, I mean, that, that you're gonna drink right off because right now it's either you drink foam for a little bit and you don't have a lot of room to put your uh, coffee, I mean your milk, your cream, your sugar and stuff like that. Uh, so you end up uh, just throwing away foam so that's an extra step so you can't just take your coffee put some uh, you know put some milk in there or some sugar or whatever you want 
Uh, if you just leave it like that, well, you're drinking, you know, foam for a little bit until you, you get down to your coffee. So uh, to me, that's just a little bit dumb in my opinion. So uh, in the beginning where the coffee maker, you know, they started the pressure system and stuff like that, uh, the, the crema that it produces was uh, like commercial quality, you know, like a, a coffee bar quality with a barista machine and something that's a little bit more high-end so it kind of mimicked that for the original pods but now with this one uh, it takes that to another extreme or they try to, to push it to another extreme and saying look how much crema it produces it doesn't produce crema guys it just produces foam that you have to throw in the, uh, in the sink or just get rid of uh, unless you're using the foam for something like a dessert or you just really like eating foam because it's less calorie or something and you're you know you're, you're on a diet well that's a different story but guys uh, this is just an extra step that you need to do to uh, make your coffee so you need to pour your coffee get rid of the foam then add milk and cream or you know uh, sugar and stuff like that that you want to add in it uh, because if you are gonna put some uh, sugar on there uh, the sugar is just gonna stay on top of that foam it's not gonna go inside your coffee so you're gonna have to mix it in and it's just it's not cool guys so let me just get a spoon let's just try to mix it in a little bit just to see what it does all right so I'm just gonna put that here on the side so hopefully you guys will still be in the frame like that so let me try to mix it in all right So it doesn't really mix in that well so you know I'm trying as much as I want but the foam is gonna stay there until it dissipates or that you get rid of it so alright guys so I am gonna have to get rid of that foam put a little bit of milk a little bit of maple syrup because that's what I'm into these days and if you like this video guys thumbs up is always appreciated and I catch you guys on the next one and let me know in the comments if you like the Nespresso Virtual and if you would buy it after seeing this. If you don't mind the extra step of getting rid of that foam because that taste of a coffee that it gives you. But I think you're still better off with the original pod machine that is less expensive. That most companies have the patent expired on it. So there's a lot more aftermarket company that can make it. And that you, you have more versatility because you can find these uh, little pods uh, from the original machine uh, everywhere. So now that the patent expired on it, you can find those pods at your local grocery stores and everywhere. You don't have to order directly from Nespresso or going in the store itself, the Nespresso store to buy it. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about this machine and if you would buy it or if you like the original or if you just like something like a basic Keurig or this is a flex brew so I'm Milton Beach so guys let me know in the comment all right guys I catch you guys on the next one